Now, we've heard a lot lately about treating women with more respect. That's a good thing. We've heard a lot about the bullying of women and harassment and worse. We've heard about this particularly, though, from the political left in an attempt to smear the right of politics with claims of sexism and misogyny. And these attacks have been taken up with a gusto, of course, by the green left media, especially the ABC. Yeah, we saw it all last week with Grace Tame and Brittany Higgins, but it goes back further. Remember how the ABC cheered on a Liberal defector back in 2018? As far as you were concerned, what was the crucial decision that you made in 2018 about why you were leaving the parliament? I left because of that three months of um, treatment where I realised Morrison, the, mo the most powerful man in the country, well, he was... I, I describe him as, like, a menacing, controlling wallpaper. He wanted me silenced. He wanted me to be quiet. Um, he wanted me out of the parliament. I mean, he wanted me out of the country. She said she wasn't going to read to contest the seat of Chisholm yeah. several months ago because of the bullying and the intimidation. Bullies only operate effectively mm. if they're allowed to live in the shadows. Mm. I did not want to exit that place without calling out the culture. Was Tony Abbott one of the bullies? Was Scott Morrison one of the ones that you felt intimidated by? Yeah, Julia Banks had no real evidence. She was just out for political revenge, which was amplified and treated as gospel. How the ABC leftists cheered, hey? A gushing Louise Milligan of Four Corners fame tweeted, Banks gave a blistering speech to Parliament about why she was going to the crossbenches, sexism and bullying in the Liberal Party. And ABC Melbourne radio host Virginia Trioli tweeted, Bravo! A gutsy act that shows courage well beyond those who've come before her. Banks, raw and uncompromising truth-telling about the culture of political bullying and patronising hypocrisy of the men currently in power is a watershed moment. But let's fast forward now. Let us fast forward to the past few days. What about Victorian Labor whistleblower Cashalia Vigella and her stunning claims against Premier Daniel Andrews? It started on Wednesday with Labor MP Corshalia Vigella voting against her party. It escalated today with her speaking out against her leader, Daniel Andrews, and she didn't hold back. Every Labor MP, every Labor minister is scared of the Premier because they know he is so spiteful. He will take revenge. People don't see his real side. He's a misogynist. Now Miss Vigella has gone for the jugular, telling a newspaper she is frightened of the Premier. He will take revenge. Everybody's scared. That's why nobody says anything against him. And anyone, any woman that does, they disappear, like Jenny McCarkos. But she didn't stop there, adding, he's a misogynist. That is what he is. Senior Victorian government ministers have been forced to defend the Premier against explosive allegations from a rogue Labor MP. Koshalia Vigella has labelled Daniel Andrews a misogynist and claims she's been bullied by staff from his office. Yeah, strong coverage there on the commercial television news reports, but these sensational allegations, first reported in the Herald Sun, didn't seem to be reported with the same, shall we say, gusto on the ABC. A Victorian state Labor MP has made explosive claims against the state government and the Premier. Kushalia Vagella says she was bullied by a Labor staff member and says she's scared of Premier Daniel Andrews. But the Attorney-General and Treasurer have both hit back at any claims of toxic culture and misogyny within the party. But the Attorney-General insists the government doesn't have a misogyny problem. And what about the dismissal and belittling of this female MP at the hands of her male colleagues? I wasn't entirely surprised, but to be honest, I'm not here to talk about that person or the events in the other house yesterday. I'm far too busy for that. I'm not sworn in to be a commentator. I'm sworn in to get on and get things done. It is worrying for me that she said that, and it goes to her state of mind, and I hope, and I can assure her, should she uh, need assistance from the government in any way to help with her state of mind, we will support her in the way through this. Horrible stuff, that. Imagine if Conservative MPs tried to dismiss a woman as that person or question her state of mind. It's passing strange, is it not, that Vigella doesn't appear to be getting the same level of coverage, sympathy or support from the leftist activists and the feminist warriors at the ABC or on Twitter and elsewhere. As usual with the left and the ABC, 
It's not about the facts or the principle. It's about the side.